Jamie Seymour shares what it's like to be stung 11 times by one of the world's most venomous species of jellyfish. The best way I can describe it is it feels, for, for me, having been down that path 11 times, it feels like someone takes a big elephant and sticks it on your chest so you can't breathe. I get severe pins and needles like someone's got a, a red hot poker and they're sticking it in the joints. He has what some people call the deadliest job on earth, milking sea creatures of their venom. Seymour leads a team of toxicologists at James Cook University, where dozens of poisonous marine creatures are kept, from jellyfish to stonefish. The stonefish's venom is powerful enough to kill humans, although there are no fatalities recorded in Australia. Seymour is among those who have survived its sting. The venom extraction process can be challenging. For the stonefish, researchers insert a syringe into a live fish's venom glands. They hold it with a towel as they withdraw a thimble full of the deadly fluid. They then send the poison to a facility in another state to be processed into a life-saving anti-venom. Can we find the next cure to cancer, arthritis, things of that nature? So it's sort of an open slather to do whatever you really want to. Then there's actually creating the antivenom, which is a time-consuming process. A large animal, like a horse, is injected with small amounts of venom over a period of time, about six months, or enough time for the animal to produce natural antibodies. The animal's plasma is then removed and the antibodies are extracted, purified and reduced into an antivenom for humans. Seymour's antivenoms are shipped to hospitals around Australia and Pacific Islands, ready to be administered for someone stung or bitten by a poisonous animal.